All right, what's up everybody on deck with Third Eye Cam. Today's date, June 29, 2021. The time is 5.38 in the morning. I was looking up at the moon and this little star next to it. And the sun ray just popped out literally going from uh, southeast to up north. I don't know what it's attached to, what if it's what it's bouncing off of. But today's gonna be one of those unusual sky days. My planet's on the way back up. I'm also reading something over here. I can't really make it out. But I definitely see that sun ray. I don't know if it's a planet surface or just a ray shooting across the sky or an asteroidal tail, but there it is. Going under the moon in one of these uh, planetary stars. There's a moon and a planetary star. Don't know which one it is. And a ray. So stand by. Today's going to be one of them days. Poof. Okay, we're back. Time is 9.08. Oh, I got a planetoid. Right there, you can see one side of it lit up, the other side in the dark. It's got a lot of clouds coming off of it. Kim trailers are running across it. You know, I saw them coming earlier. They started exiting out the sky, and uh, they were exiting at all these anomalies with your planets. I can make them out, especially that one. They're going all across that one. There's one going across it right now. I tell you, these guys are disrespectful. They have to be in fear of something. Something is coming that's gonna kick their asses. Literally. Because they this is the best they can do is block out planets, whole planets. Y'all looking at one right there. Whether it's a planet or a moon, you're looking at it. And the best they can do is run across it with a, a, a freaking vapor trail. And then when I take a view of it, a video, and put it out there on this page. I get a freaking definition to deter my subscribers. Then I got people trying to educate me on what is and what ain't cause of who said what from their perspective. But I'll tell you what, one thing I got on a lot of people in this world is that I'm a cosmic star child. Look it up, look it up. Me and my peoples come from the stars. So I think I got a beat on what, what is. But for the moment, got a lot of planets coming across and uh, you know, just enjoy the show. Throw that camera. Got more planets approaching from the south, southwest. <coughs> you can see them. Like I said, you can see my other planet, which is above the moon. Literally, it, it dwarfs the moon. Yeah, whatever that planetoid is, it's dwarfing the moon. The moon's right below it. Right at the tree line. There's the moon. And there's the planet above it. Which is probably a moon itself. All these planets that are coming in are way bigger than Earth. Like we're micro midgets in comparison to this, all this. And then you got these micro minded people who want to keep their power scepter, who just uh, don't say anything but conduct, coordinate their sky attacks. They don't tell the public anything, but they tax the hell out of us. I can't even live happy because you're taking all the money out my fault, out my bank, to fund your little hidden secret project, along with a whole lot of other Americans. Since y'all taxing us to do your little dirt, to hide this, and that is probably something that's more directly attached to me than all you all that are up there closer to it. That's how backwards this world is. All right. We gon' get back shortly. Poof.
Like there's that moon right there. And a lot of other anomalies. I think these are asteroid sweeps coming through as well. There's the moon. There it is. All right. All right, third, I came back. Same date, the time is 9.45. Got a lot of spatial activity going on above my head. Too much. So I got my GoPro in the window. It's get, gonna get a lot of this sitting still. And um, we'll see what it, what, what it yields. All right. I do see something up by the sun here. Yep, on our planets. Matter of fact, I think this is the whole thing right here. Yep. This whole deal is a planet and it's moons. You see how it's pushing onto the sun. I'm gonna let my GoPro get it as best it can and uh, show y'all what it is. All right. All right, y'all, we're back real quick with Third Eye Cam. Same date, the time is 10.52. Take a quick look at this. Got a planetoid up under the sun. There's the sun right there. A planetoid uh, showing up at the bottom. The whole thing right there. And they've been scouring it all day. There's another one right here to the side. Uh, there's another one over here, my three biggest planets. And there's a whole lot of smaller planets over here at the horizon. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's my biggest one right there showing up real good and there's another one right there at the treetop asteroids this is all over my head right here all these asteroids you guys are going crazy there's another one right there earth cloud asteroids so yep that's what we got all right y'all hang tight poof all right, you're on deck with Third Eye Cam. Same date, June 29th, 2021. Time is 12.42 right now. Looking up by the sun, and we got a planetoid up by the sun. You can see it halfway cutting into the sun. Back it out, you can see the perimeter of it. It's got a lot of clouds around it. Beautiful, too. Look at it. Beautiful. Um, there's a whole lot more over here. A lot of asteroids uh, uh, following this planet right here. Go over here. A lot of asteroids. Mr. Magic Chem Trailer. Um, there's three planetoids over here. Let me see if I can count them up right. One right there, two right there, kind of behind that one, and the third one is below at the tree line. They're all in the cluster. More, and there's one right here also. Big ups in the bureau, followers anonymous. Uh, it's been giving me great valuable information, um, and I'm not opposed to learning. Cause I want to have my stuff in, in check and I appreciate her for giving me some boost and knowing which planet specifically has which moon. Thank you very much ma'am. Uh, there's a, a moon right here. There's another moon up here with a lot of asteroidal debris around it. These things are getting close. They're like getting really visible. Let me see where else. Let me go back to this one because this one is really uh we're seeing the backside of it as it's like I call it 0.7 AUs from the sun since we're one AU from the sun. These things are within a three parsec of us. I'm just speculating. Sounds cool, right? <laughs> I watch a lot of Star Trek. Anyway, um, I do a lot of research too. This is Mr. Magic Controller. Passing the clouds. But yeah, you can see him right there. This planet right here showing up really well. So yeah, that's cool. Y'all hang tight. We'll be back. Cool. Y'all keep seeing this white looking deal flying back and forth every day pretty much in the same spot for months now. I don't know if it's a, a jet stuck here by this cloud, but there it is. Alright, so my big planet right here just halfway covered up the sun and then this earth cloud came and I thought I was recording earlier but I didn't get it. So there's some of it right there showing up. See the curvature? But this whole thing is dragging all this debris with it. And there's a asteroid right there. Right there, let me see, let me step down. Now, holy crap, there's my skull right there. I haven't seen it in a while. 
I've been looking for that bad boy. Yep, there's a skull asteroid. See it? Get ready to get covered up by this damn cloud. Oh, uh, there's more right there. Like I said, there's more back here. All these clouds are getting in my way. There's a cluster of planetoids right here. And my big planetoid is right here. That's close to the Earth. Um, another asteroid cluster right here. So, oh, there's a planet. Boom, look at that, beautiful. So I just want to show you all that. I'm getting ready to push on that beautiful asteroid right there. You can see it literally rolling out. Yeah, but you can see that planet coming out of its cloud and it's got a lot of moons around it. Real thick too. See it? Oh, this one's coming out real clear too. Damn, this is awesome. Well, I got my GoPro pointed up, so it's still running. It is catching all this. You know how I do. <laughs> Third eye cam, poof, we'll be back. Asteroid right there too, planetoid asteroid. That thing is huge. It's got a nice little cloud, cloud sweep around it. I'll tell you, these earth clouds be jacking and jerking. All right, poof. All right, real quick, the time is uh, 13.05. Some planets and asteroids showing up right here. The bulk of them, asteroids, big planetoid. Oh, there it is. Got some asteroids chasing behind it. A moon right here below the sun. What's around the sun? Uh, damn paper got in my way. Okay, you know what? The wind is caught blocking. I got a planet right there next to the sun. More right here. So we'll be back. Hang tight. All right, real quick. Um, just want y'all to see my planets and what have you. And asteroids, all clusters. That's a planet cluster with a, a smaller moon below it. There's a moon, there's a bigger planet cluster. Another cluster of moons. Got a cluster of asteroids behind it. Some, uh, another planetoid with the moon. Another moon in the back. Another moon right here. They're just like really all over the place. Moon cluster right here. Or a planet cluster. But this is the biggest one. This one was the one that was covering the sun up. Oh, there it is. Whole planet. There it is. Should be able to see the perimeter of it at the rooftop. Right there. Going up past the cloud and back around all right hang tight okay i'm back um same date time is 13 23 i just want to show you some moons and planets coming out got one right here there's too many to count i'm just going to show you one right behind it one right beside it this one right here and a big one actually behind this cloud right here um where is it i saw a real pretty moon right here let me see yeah right there um, it's a lot of moons like really close to us along with the asteroids. There's another one right here uh, This is a big freaking moon planet right here There's a bunch right there It's mostly the moons showing up the planets are really far out, but the moons are being close um, Along with asteroids So I just wanted to bring that to y'all um, Oh, there's a moon right there sitting on top of that cloud Where is it? There and this one, this one's showing up real good too. I don't want to move too fast. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get everything, but show y'all everything also. And this one at the corner. So it's a lot going on today. Like I said, I got my GoPro on them, so it's gonna catch what it can, and I'm gonna get what I can uh, to keep it moving and show, keep the program coming to you all. This is a big planet out here. Big enough. But it's just a lot of moons showing up. Like this one is real um, defined. Yeah, right here. And that's the cloud plume that's coming off of it right there. Actually, no, it's not. That's the earth cloud. I'm sorry. The earth cloud's covering up. See, it almost integrated and looked like it was a part of it. My bad. It's because it's bright out here. All right, we're going to be back. Y'all hang tight. Let me see what's around the sun, though, before I go away. Mm, that planet's a bounce away from it, so it's back to pretty much just something over here. 
got a little pinch on it. Yeah. All right, we'll be back, fool. All right, we're back. Same date. The time is 14:30. 2:30 for my civilians. Uh, I'm up in the mountains in Troutville, Virginia, and these planetoids and clouds are really coming out. Kind of just all over the place. Like they showed up really beautiful and clear. So I'm about to jump out here shortly. We'll take a look at it. Activity over here. Okay, we're back. Same date, the time is uh, 1436. 236, man, this is crazy. So I'm up in Troutville on the mountain pretty much. And my planets are showing up. There's my wing planet. See the wing, left and right. There's a Mr. Magic Kim trailer here. There he is. There's a object up by the sun, there it is. So we're looking at the bottom of it. All that, all this is the bottom of this. That's the perimeter of it. There's the sun. And that's not a cloud, that's the bottom of a asteroid. And that's why he's flying up under it. This is insane. In freaking sane, y'all. one of those days you know that you can't just really get around you can tell that's an asteroid or, or a, like a flat surface look at how whatever it is is just hugging over it that's like jack and the beanstalk that's a whole nother land it needs all the clouds coming off of it if this thing cross the sun we go into a blackout and i'm so close up here that mr magic kim trailers i'm actually a thousand feet up Elevation. He looks so much closer to me. I didn't even have to stress and zoom in on him. This is how high I am. Like I said, there's my planet right there. Wings coming off of it. It's got a lot of moons around it. Look at this asteroid right here. You can see the crater of it. That's the crater. Big asteroid right here. Planetoid. It's just a lot. This is insane. All these little asteroids flying up under this big one. All right, I'll be back. My GoPro has gotten a lot of it, so I'll come back in uh, when we get situated. Hang tight. Okay, third I came back, same date. The time is 15.01. Looking at this planet right here by the sun. I'm in Troutville at uh, one of my drops. And I just talked to a, a, a cool soldier. Uh, he's gonna check out my channel, so big up to him. I didn't even get his name, but his dad was in the Marine Corps. So next time I see him, I'll, get, I'll put him on. We're just gonna show y'all some quick moons and planets and asteroids. So there's a planet or a moon. There's an asteroid. There's another asteroid. There's a planet yeah, of moons, moons, moons. Another planet right here. Um, Space Force flew through earlier. There's a moon right there. There's a planet right there. A planet right there. They're like moons. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they turn around. There they go. Space Force. Um, there's a big planet right here. Let me see. Let me locate it. Right here. Yeah, there it is. And it was next to a smaller moon that just really literally went around it. There it is. The smaller moon was stuck out by itself right beside the planet. And I was going around behind the planet. Um... And there's another planet right here on the flip side. Uh, I'm guessing this is an asteroid or something. No, it's a small moon. Yeah, asteroid. So there's a lot out today. A lot. There's a, I'm guessing a planetoid right here. It got real dark in this area. So like I said, there's a lot going on. Too much. And I think there's a bigger planetoid. Yep, back here past the 84 sign. Yep. Oh my God, there's a bigger planet. There it is. So... You can see the lateral lines on it. Whole damn thing, you know, uh, right here. Like it's showing up and there's the uh, Space Force headed for it. So all these smaller moons and smaller planets belong to this bigger planet, which is way out. So I just want to show you all that. That's freaking awesome. All right, let me get down the road and uh, we shall continue with our business. Thought I can't poof. 
Okay, I'm back real quick. Um, time is 1520, 320, and I'm just showing you some planetoids and their moons. Still in the mountains, and they're showing up really nice. Some over here as well. See that planet coming over the uh, over the mountain. That one and that one. And there the breeze. That little moon right there. All right, we'll be back. Space Force coming up. So I'm headed back um, east, and most of my planets are, have, my bigger planet has passed over my head, and the little asteroids are passing to the left of me. Should be able to see all of them. That was real nice looking. It's literally, you can see the craters on it. But everything looks like our moon. For the most part, it's still showing up as white, just like our moon and crater. So that lets me know when they, when I start seeing the features of them, they're in proximity to the distance of our moon, if not closer. All right, y'all hang tight. This is what's in front of me. Just more asteroids, uh, lumpy looking asteroids, and a few moons. And this is a big, a very big, uh, I think looks like a bigger planet. Yep, right there. Right there in the middle. Uh, that's the bulk of the planet. So that planet is har harboring holding on to all these smaller asteroids that are to the left and that's the whole thing right there that planet very huge Time is 1655, 455. There are my planets and asteroids and little moons all to my left. In front of me is just another kind of slightly bigger asteroid. Might be a moon, kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I think it's a moon. That's it right there though. All right, hang tight. All right, back. Time is 
time is uh, 17, 12, 5, 12 for my civilians. Got two, I guess these are uh, moons. One right there, the other one right there. Probably asteroidal in nature. If you can see past the clouds, they look, they look like asteroids. So, just want to show you that. Okay, we're back. Got a planetoid showing up right here. Uh, actually, that's a slice of a moon next to a bigger planetoid. So that's awesome. We'll be back. All right, we're back. Uh, showing you the moons. Since I've been re-educated, I'm guessing that's Atu's white moon. Um, to the right of the sun. I got to go back and look over that. Big up to uh, Nibiru followers anonymous she's put me on key that uh Isatum's moon is yellow and a two's moon is white so yeah i'm working that one appreciate you girl anyways uh we got some anomalies right here just want to point that out to y'all and stand by poof Strong gay, scope, which is a little 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 strong gay, scope, which